Hello, and thank you for joining me today for a recording of our live Slow Hatha Flow class from Inside Timer. If you would like to join us for one of our live sessions, you can find the links to our profiles on Inside Timer in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for this channel to stay informed about future events, offerings, and other live sessions. This class is available for all levels, and a reminder that this is your practice, so do what feels good in your body. Namaste. So we're gonna get started in a comfortable seat, so any comfortable seat for you. Finding a space where your hips can relax, your spine can lift tall, and your shoulders can release. And finding a space where you can breathe. And just beginning to notice your breath. Beginning to notice where in your body your breath is moving. Noticing any resistance or hesitation within your breath. And taking one deep clearing breath here, a full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing a slow, steady breath to find you. Knowing that this is your practice as we move this morning, allowing you to be in a space that feels good for you. Wherever we go, always find that space that's right for today right for your body. And as you breathe, allowing your awareness to move to the ground beneath your hips. To the air as it touches your skin. Allowing your awareness to move into your heart center. And noticing any thoughts that arise within that space. Allowing a sense of love and compassion to fill you from the inside. And taking one deep clearing breath here, a full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Your next inhale, letting your arms sweep wide and overhead. As you exhale, side bending towards the right, letting your right hand come down beside you, left arm reaching overhead. Allowing your chest to roll open up towards the ceiling.
One more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. As you exhale, side bending over towards the other side. Letting your left hand come down beside your right arm, reaching overhead. Allowing your chest to roll open up towards the ceiling. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. As you exhale, letting your hands release behind your back about a foot or so. Yeah, you can have your hands facing forward to the sides or out behind you. And wherever you end up taking a big shoulder roll, allowing your chest to lift tall, shoulder blades hugging towards each other and down your back. You can take your head and neck wherever feels good for you. Gazing forward, maybe up towards the ceiling, maybe allowing your chin to lift up. And as we begin to open our heart space this morning, allowing your awareness to move into the center, to your heart chakra, the center of your chest. As we start to expand and open. I'm taking one more deep breath in. And out. Gently releasing your shoulders, maybe a bend to your elbows. Coming back up through seat, through a comfortable seat. We're gonna find a forward fold from here. So you're welcome to switch over the cross of your legs, or shift your hips in any way that feels right. And then when you're ready, taking a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly folding forward. And once you find this length through your spine, hips still drawing down, allowing your head and neck to release, your arms and shoulders to let go. Allowing the weight of your upper body to be what draws you deeper. And taking one more full deep breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, walk with your hands back towards your shins. Then we're going to find your way into a table onto your hands and your knees. You can get there however you like. You can swing your feet around to the side, rock over the shins. Once you move to the space, taking any movement or motion that might feel good for you, maybe a hip sway, cat cow, some hip circles, anything to open and explore your hips, shoulders, and spine. And taking one more breath here to even out your movements. A deep breath in and out. And we're gonna move into your balancing table. So finding a neutral space in your tabletop and then letting your right leg begin to extend out behind you. And initially, you can keeping your toes on the ground and pressing through your heel. It's beginning to open up through the back of your right leg.
Staying right here, maybe letting your left arm start to walk out long in front of you. Maybe letting your right foot float, maybe the left hand. Staying right here, you can bend into your right knee, reaching your left hand back for your right foot. A slight kick into your hand. One more breath wherever you are, a deep breath in and out. Full breath in to find your length. And as you exhale, releasing back down to your mat, find a shift of your hips, any counter action that you might need. And we're gonna move right on to your other side. Letting your left leg begin to extend out behind you. Curling your left toes, pressing through your heel. Staying here, letting the right arm begin to walk out long. Maybe the foot begins to float. Maybe your right hand. Maybe bending into your left knee, reaching back for your foot, if you can find it. One more breath wherever you are, deep breath in. And out. Another breath in to find your length. Exhale, releasing your right hand down, your left knee down. Take some hip sways or circles. And then we're gonna find your downward facing dog, curling your toes and pressing your hips up and back. You can find a pedal of your feet, bending one knee and then the other. And eventually finding some stillness a stillness in your body, a slow, steady breath. I'm taking one more deep breath here, deep breath in and out as you inhale rising high into your toes and walking your feet towards your hands maybe your hands back towards your feet and finding a gentle forward fold a soft bend to your knees head and neck to release arms and shoulders to let go you shake your head yes and no you can shake your head maybe and taking a slow roll up to stand. There's no rush to get there. And once you're at the top, taking a big shoulder roll, maybe a few more revolutions and a full range of motion in your shoulder joints. And finding your mountain pose, your Tadasana. Your feet can be together or hip width apart, however feels good for you. But wherever you end up standing as tall as you can, lifting through the crown of your head, arms releasing out by your sides. And once more, noticing your breath. Noticing the ground beneath your feet. The air as it touches your skin. Noticing that space in the center of your chest, your heart chakra. Taking 
One more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. And next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to half lift, lengthening through your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing for a breath, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reach tall, rising tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing for another breath, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reach tall, pausing here. Interlacing your fingers and then flipping your palms up towards the ceiling. So reaching your hands up tall. Let's see anything. There it goes. Staying right here, letting your arms and shoulders go towards the back of the room, your head still lifting tall. One more deep breath here, breath in. And out. Releasing your fingers as you inhale to reach tall. Exhale, forward fold, coming all the way back down. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. And we're going to pause here for an active forward fold. You can have your hands anywhere that feels right for you. It can be on your shins, blocks, the ground, or any bind that might be in your practice. But wherever you end up, thinking about drawing the crown of your head towards the ground, your hips up towards the ceiling. One more breath, a deep breath in and out. Gently releasing any binds that you might have as you inhale, rising to your half lift. As you exhale, stepping your right foot back into a low lunge, letting your hands ground, right foot steps back, and coming down onto your right knee. And I'll pause here, letting your hips begin to draw forward and down. Staying here, you can rise up onto blocks, maybe to your left knee. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Releasing your hands down, surrounding your front foot. We're going to find your half splits, letting your front leg begin to straighten. Right hip coming right above your right knee. Maybe the left foot scoots a little forward if you need it to. Taking a breath in to find your length and a breath out to find your fold.
And taking one more full breath here. Full deep breath in. And out. And slowly bending back into your front knee. You're gonna step your right foot to meet your left. So letting your right toes curl, the right knee start to lift and stepping the right foot forward. Finding another half lift with your inhale. Exhale to fold. As you inhale, finding your half lift once more. Then we're gonna step your left foot back, letting your hands ground. Left foot steps back, slowly coming down onto your left knee. And then finding that perfect space for here. Hips drawing forward and down, and either on the ground, blocks, or coming up to your right knee. Taking one more full deep breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, slowly releasing your hands down to frame your right foot. And we're gonna move into your half splits. Letting your right leg begin to straighten, left hip coming right above your right knee, or left hip above the left knee. Maybe the right foot's Scoots a little more forward if you need it to. Take another deep breath in to find your length and a breath out to find your fold. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly bending back into your right knee. I'm gonna step your left foot to meet your right, letting your hands ground, you can curl your left toe, left knee to rise and stepping the left foot to meet your right. As you inhale to find your half lift, exhale to fold. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. And pause in here for a breath, a full deep breath in. And out. And gently releasing your hands behind your lower back, interlacing your fingers. So trying to find the opposite interlace, the one rung down on the finger ladder. It's going to feel awkward. It always does. Taking a big shoulder roll and letting your hands start to draw down towards the ground behind you. Shoulder blades hugging towards each other. Navel hugging in and up. Taking one more full breath in. And out. Gently releasing your shoulders, bending your elbows, releasing your fingers. Give your arms a little shake if you need it. And when you're ready, as you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale, stepping back into your plank, the top of your push-up. Taking a full deep breath in here. And as you exhale, your chaturanga or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. As you exhale to your downward facing dog. 
I'm taking a moment to settle into this space, to find your breath. And we're going to step your feet about a f one foot width forward and towards the sides of your mat. And letting your heels come a little bit wider than your toes. You can have a bend to your knees if you need it here. Taking a breath in to find your length and an exhale to start to draw down through your heels to the outside edges of your feet. And just one more breath here, deep breath in and out. You're welcome to stay there as long as you need or slowly releasing down onto your knees. We're going to come up to stand on your knees. We're moving into our camel. So you can have your feet flat or your toes curled, however feels best for you. And bring initially your hands towards your lower back, any way that feels right. Little fists or flat palms. Initially allowing your breath to lift your chest and finding a tilt of your hips, a posterior tilt. Chest to lift tall. And when you're ready, allowing your hips to start to lean forward, chest lifting up. Taking one more deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back up through center. A couple options, but finding a space that's neutral in your body. You can either come down to sit on your heels, maybe coming into a tabletop. Finding any space where you can settle or find any movement to release what you need to. A space where your hips and spine can be in a neutral space. When you're ready, we're going to come up to stand on your knees. Just one more round here. So you're welcome to take this as deep as feels good for you. You can have your hands onto your hips, allowing your chest to lift tall. And wherever you end up going, start your movements with your hips drawing forward, your chest to lift tall. And maybe the hands stay on your hips. Maybe they lower down to your heels. Or wherever you end up. Chest lifting tall. One more full deep breath in. And out. Inhale coming back up through center. And exhale finding that neutral space for your body, either your tabletop or your hero's pose sitting on your heels. It can be on your heels, it can be on a block, bolster, however feels good for you. It's finding that space where you can release. And staying here as long as you need before finding our child's pose. Letting your knees either be together or a little bit wider, toe mounds to touch, hips drawing towards your heels. You could stay right here, maybe letting your arms start to walk out long and come down onto your forearms or all the way down. It's finding a space where your body can feel a little bit at ease, can get a little bit of relief to settle into your breath. One more full deep breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly walking your hands underneath you. We're gonna make your way into a seat. 
however you would like to get there. Letting your legs come out long in front of you. You can shake out through your knees or finding any release that you need. We're gonna move right into your seated forward fold. Letting your legs extend out long. They can be together hip width or a little wider. You can have a soft bend to your knees if you have tighter hamstrings. Taking a deep breath in to find your length and a breath out to begin to fold. Allowing your body to open up and release however it needs to. And allowing your head and neck to release wherever you've ended up. Taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising up. We're gonna move into a twist from here, letting your right knee hug into your chest. The right foot can stay over on this right side or feel like you can cross it over to the other. And letting your right hand come behind you, allowing a deep breath in to lift you tall and a deep breath out to find your twist. You're welcome to hug the knee into your chest or bring the elbow to the other side. But wherever you end up, letting your left leg stay active and strong. one more deep breath in and out as you inhale slowly coming back through center we're going to let the right knee open out towards the side moving into our Janu Shoshasana letting the sole of the right foot come to your left inner thigh or head to knee pose the foot can be as tight towards the hip as far away as this right knee and hip need Taking a breath in to find length and square over your left leg as you exhale slowly to fold. And once more allowing your head and neck to release whenever you find that perfect space for you. I'm taking one more full breath here, deep breath in and out as you inhale slowly to rise back up we're going to leave your legs right here we're going to find another twist and a side bend so letting your arms come out into a t and then twisting towards the right so your left fingertips are pointing towards your left toes so you could stay right here maybe finding a side bend over that left leg your right arm can stay up tall. You can have it bent over to the head, maybe behind the lower back. Anything that that right arm needs. One more full breath in and out slowly coming back up letting your right hand come down behind you 
left arm lifting up towards the ceiling. You can find a light heart opener here, chest lifting up towards the ceiling. If you want to work a little bit deeper, you can press into your right knee and letting your hips start to lift, opening through the whole front side of your body. Your hips are lifted gently to release and slowly coming back through neutral space. Letting your right leg extend back out long. Shift your hips. And then letting your left foot step back, finding your twist on this left side. Left foot can be on the left side or crossing over. When you're ready, letting the left hand come behind you as you inhale to lengthen through your spine. Exhale to find your twist. Allowing your right leg to stay active and strong. Taking one more deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center. We're gonna let the left knee open out to the side, finding your Janu Shoshasana on this side. Right leg extending long, deep breath in to find length, squaring over that extended leg. As you exhale, slowly to fold. Gently to release your head and neck wherever you end up. Taking one more full deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up. We're gonna move into that side bend, letting your arm come into a T, and then twisting towards the left, right fingertips towards your right foot. Taking a deep breath in to find length, and a breath out to find your fold. Again, you can stay part way with your arm bent or behind your lower back, wherever feels right for you. One more breath in and out. As you inhale, rising back up, letting your left hand come down behind you, right arm opening up, maybe letting your chest lift and open. Staying here, if you'd like to work a little deeper, you can press into your left knee, letting your hips start to lift, opening through the whole front side of your body. Your hips are lifted gently to release back down, coming back through center. Shake out your knees, your legs once more. Then we're gonna slowly roll down onto your backs. Letting your knees begin to hug into your chest. You can find a light rock from side to side. And staying right here, finding your happy baby. You can take a hold of behind your thighs, maybe your ankles, maybe your feet. But wherever you end up, letting your knees start to draw down towards your armpits. Chest opening up. Shoulder blades releasing back down.
Taking one more deep breath in and out. Gently drawing your knees back in towards your chest. Releasing your left foot down onto your mat, finding a reclined pigeon. Right knee coming across your left ankle, right knee beginning to press away. You could stay right here if you'd like. You can start to hug your left knee in towards your chest. Finding whatever space, whatever version of a pigeon works for you. Taking one more full deep breath, your breath in and out. Gently releasing your left foot down onto your mat and then your right. You can find a little windshield wiper of your knees side to side, maybe letting your feet be almost mat width for this movement. And we're going to find your pigeon over on the other side. So taking the same version you took on the first, if it's your reclined pigeon, the left ankle coming on top of the right knee, left knee can press away, maybe the right knee hugs into your chest. breath to slow. And your awareness to stay with you here. With each breath in and out. Taking one more full deep breath, a deep breath in and out. And gently releasing your right foot back down, your left foot back down. You'll find that little bit of a windshield wiper side to side. We're going to move into a reclined twist from here. So lay your knees. Keep this bend and keeping the width about your, about the what mat width of your feet. Letting your knees come over to the right side of your mat. Think about the left knee coming towards the sole of your right foot. You're welcome to stay right here. If you want to work a little bit deeper, you can take that right ankle on top of the left knee. Just be mindful how both knees, hips, ankles are feeling in this space. If this doesn't feel right, any other version of a twist that feels good for you here. Taking one more full deep breath in and out. If your foot is on top of your knee, gently releasing it back off. Letting your knees come back through center. Maybe a little inch of wiper side to side.
being mindful that there's no blocks or other furniture on the other side. The next time you come over towards that left side, whatever side you didn't do, yeah, we're going to pause there. And finding the depth that works for this side of your body. Maybe the foot comes on top of your knee. you have ended up allowing you to take one deep releasing breath taking a full deep breath in and a big sigh out slowly unwind from here, gently letting the left foot release down if it's up on the knee, coming back through center, taking any movement or motion you might need here before moving into a reclined bound angle just for a few breaths. Letting the soles of your feet come together, your heels can be as close or as far from your hips as you need. Maybe block your support underneath your knees. Finding a space where you can breathe. If it's okay, letting one hand come over your belly and one hand over your heart. And allowing your breath to flow, not trying to control it. Allowing it to fill, expand, and release out as it needs. And while you're breathing, Allowing the, your awareness to move to that space in your heart center. Allowing your awareness to move through your chest to that space on the back side of your body that's touching the ground. Feeling the connection of your heart to the earth. And taking one deep clearing breath here, full breath in. And a big sigh out. either staying right here or finding your Shavasana, your final relaxation. You could extend your legs out long or find any other space that feels most comfortable for you. And once you're in that space, allowing you to completely Relax, completely let go. Releasing control of your breath. We're 
Releasing control of your body. Releasing control of your thoughts. to your breath, to your body. To this time and space. Allow 
life energy and movement to fill you. With one deep clearing breath, deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Slowly come back into this world. Eventually finding a comfortable seat for you. And thank you so much for sharing your time, space, and energy with me and with each other. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.